Hello, friends. Welcome back. My name is Ramon. How are you today? Today's video is going to be on a sunscreen I've gotten a lot of requests for. It's been in my comment section a bunch. You guys have been asking for it and asking for it. And guess what? I listened. Today, we're going to be talking about the Keep Cool Soothe Bamboo Sun Essence SPF 50 Plus PA++++. I'm about the sunscreen. It's a Korean sunscreen, meaning it has only organic filters, AKA chemical filters. The main claims for the sunscreen is that it has triple benefiting properties to it high UV protection, skin brightening benefits, as well as anti-wrinkle benefits, all while giving your skin a nice, healthy, subtle glow. Before we get into testing and talking about the sunscreen, I'm going to ask that you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and related content on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And down below, have you tried this? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. So again, this is a very, very highly requested sunscreen, and I understand why. I've seen a little bit of hype around it on social media, and a lot of you guys have been telling me how much you love it. And looking at the claims for this, it's all really in the title. Keep cool. Parts of the formulation of this are meant to kind of cool down and relieve sun-stressed skin. Soothe. The formulation also includes a lot of anti-inflammatory skin soothing ingredients, again, which are really nice to have in a sunscreen. It's really calm down inflammation as a result of sun, UV stress, and that's actually really beneficial, especially for skin of color, where a lot of inflammation and irritation leads to pigmentation, and we do not want that in this nation. And then the last part of it is bamboo. Bamboo extract comprises about 40% of the formulation in this. It's actually above water in the ingredients list, which you don't actually see a lot of times, especially for sunscreens. So I'm interested to see what benefits that has for the skin. Looking at the deets for this a little bit more, you get 50 mil, AKA 1.69 fluid ounces, ranging for about 20 to $23 or pounds, depending on where you're from. And also depending on where you purchase it. Looking at Stalvana right now, it's at $17, which is a great price. Not only that, but I don't know if you know this, I have a discount code to Stalvana. I have 10 Ramon, make sure you use that. But I'll leave links down below Below for retailers that are carrying this right now, but it's a pretty decent price point. I will give it that. Also, this is not sponsored. I just love giving you guys a deal. Explaining how I generally review and try these chemical sunscreens out. I don't use my normal mineral sunscreen for B's rubric. I actually use 6S for this, and that stands for feel, finish, filters, formulation, foundation wear, and fragrance. I'm going to be testing it out, applying a standard quarter teaspoon to cover my face, my ears, and my neck, letting it sit down for at least five minutes before I go on top of it with any makeup. And that way you can see how it applies and how it wears with makeup. I wait a few hours. And then with the chemical sunscreen tests, I also reapply on top of the makeup. What's nice about these is they don't have white casts. They reapply nicely on top of themselves, but they also reapply nicely on top of makeup. So you're going to see how it looks on top of a semi-light beat. So Let's get into it. First step is gonna be feel. When I think sun essence, I usually think of the Misa sun essence, which has a very, very lightweight, very thin, semi-watery texture to it. But unlike the Misha, this actually has a little bit more body to it. And I find working this into the skin, it's actually a very nourishing, lightweight gel texture. The feel of it on the skin, super lightweight. It's not heavy. It's gonna really nourish your skin, but it's gonna sit almost air-like on the skin. You're not really gonna feel it. After about three minutes, I say it really sets down. And what I like about it, and this leads us into the finish, it has a very natural finish to it. While initially at first it looks a little bit more radiant, it sets down your skin, actually looks a little bit more matte. I have more oily skin. What I like about it is it has a nourishing texture to really work in moisturized drier skin types, but for oily skin types, it sets down to really natural finish. You don't look really greasy and too radiant throughout the day. As you can see in the footage when I first apply it, you can see it goes on and leaves a really nice radiant finish. And again, I was really surprised with the feel and texture of this because it's a little bit more rich than I anticipated, but it still feels really, really lightweight. You can see on camera when I do a side-by-side -side comparison, it looks really nice on the skin. And after a few minutes, you can see it sets down. And again, it gives you a really, really nice, to me, natural satin matte finish where I still have more life and luminosity to my skin, but I don't have a lot of shine. It really set down nicely. And I put this on top of a few emollient ingredients. And since I played with this in the application for the video, I played around with a lot more skincare underneath it. And honestly, no matter how emollient the base is underneath it, it sets down to this really nice satin matte finish. So now let's get into the foundation wear for this. As I mentioned back with feel and finish, the sunscreen itself is very, very lightweight, but it's really, really nourishing on the skin. But on top of that, it sets down to really nice, soft, natural, soft matte finish. So all those combined means you're prepping your skin really, really nicely for makeup, but it's giving you a nice canvas for the makeup to go on top of. And the makeup went on top of it really, really well. I was very surprised by that fact. More so, I was able to apply the foundation really, really well. Everything buffed on top of it nicely. It set down great. And throughout the day, I looked really good. Even my boyfriend was like, your skin looks really, really smooth. I was very shocked by the fact that I retained that natural soft matte finish throughout the entire day. But as I mentioned, I reapply this on top of makeup. And what's nice about the sunscreen's texture is even though it's really lightweight, but really nourishing, it helps to like re-enliven the foundation. So especially around my eyes, I get a little bit of creasing like in this area where like my expression lines are. 
It helps really like wake up the makeup, give it a really nice fresh glow and finish to it. And you can see on the screen, I took my black beauty blender dry, threw that into the sunscreen and I would press that into the foundation. It doesn't remove any of the coverage. It doesn't move any of the makeup around, but it just helps to really press the sunscreen where I need it. And it gives me a really, really nice glow. This is actually like a banger for reapplication recommend. Looking at the filters for this, you have two filters for part of the formulation. You have Tinosorb S and Uvenol A+. Tinosorb S is a very, very broad spectrum, very, very high efficacy, high photoprotective value UV filter. That's very photo stable and that's covering the full expanse of the UV spectrum. But on top of that, you also have Uvenol A+, which really bumps up and give you even more robust, high photo stable UVA protection. So you're really amping up that PA rating on this. Don't forget it's PA4 pluses. So with the two filters, you're getting really high photoprotective values, which is what the sunscreen advertises. Looking at the rest of the formulation, you have that bamboo water. Again, that's gonna be the first ingredient on the formulation list. It comes up even above water and it's really gonna give you a nice quench of hydration, it seems like. I don't know what else Bebu really does for the skin. I haven't been able to find too much information on that, but that's the big namesake for the formula. But beyond the bamboo, you also have some of the soothing properties, because again, soothe is part of the name. That's coming from a good list of ingredients. First and foremost, you have adenosine and niacinamide, two of my favorite ingredients. Niacinamide, skincare superstar, but it's coupled with adenosine, both of which have really nice soothing anti-inflammatory properties. Adenosine also has some wound healing properties to it. Those are also paired with Centella asiatica, which again, soothing anti-inflammatory superstar. You also have Scutellaria bicolensis, which is skull cap root extract. And then you have honeysuckle flower extracts. So you have a really nice powerhouse set of ingredients that are really gonna give you that anti-inflammatory calming property that the sunscreen's advertising, and especially niacinamide and adenosine two favorites of mine. You also have a good amount of antioxidant benefits coming from this, primarily from the centella, as well as the skull cap root extract but from a few other antioxidant components as well. And I really like antioxidants in sunscreen formulations. Again, they protect your skin from free radical damage. They really give your skin a nice boost from anti-pollution and environmental stressors. But also again, because in skin and color specifically, which is what I mainly talk about, free radicals can cause a lot of pigmentation related issues as a result of inflammation and irritation in the skin. So with the soothing and antioxidant benefits, a lot of these ingredients are giving you, it's a double whammy for that anti-wrinkle, anti-aging, anti-pigmentation properties that the sunscreen talks about. And then the last benefit the sunscreen really advertises is that brightening. And that's coming primarily from the niacinamide. Don't forget niacinamide, skincare superstar. It's a really great pigment inhibiting ingredient. And so all of that combined, basically this formulation to me is a much more elevated Pareto Centella Safe Sun. It's gonna give you a lot more soothing, a lot more antioxidant benefits with a little bit extra with the adenosine and niacinamide included in it. And then last but not least, fragrance. This has no smell to it. And what's really nice about this is that it is fragrance free. It has no actual essential oils added to the formulation of it. So it seems like it's gonna be very, very sensitive skin friendly considering it's free of those two things as well as it's a very, very nice soothing formulation to it. But beyond that, the texture of it's gonna lend itself to pretty much every skin type I can imagine, especially considering the fact that this is also alcohol free. So there's no alcohol in the formulation to act as a solvent or a skin penetration enhancer. So overall across the board, this is certified 10. So overall, is this Ramon recommended? I would say, 12 out of 10. My experience with this was actually, I was very shocked, primarily just by how the finish was. Most of the sunscreens that are similar to this, even more lightweight sunscreens, leave me with a very, very radiant finish, which I do like, I'm not gonna lie. Like I have more oily skin, but I like my skin to glow. I'm not glow my Ramon for nothing. But the way this sat down, I was really, really shocked. And since I filmed the application part of this video, I've tested this out about four or five more times and consistently it's left my skin with a very, very nice satin matte finish, which, if shocking to me. Makeup applies beautifully on top of this. And this has been one of the most elegant formulation and feel from a chemical sunscreen I've tried it in a minute, especially because I'm more used to these mineral sunscreens that are really, really heavy and greasy. And so I've had a really, really positive experience with this. And looking at the formulation for this, this has so many ingredients that I'm a really big fan of. I really see what the hype behind this was. So 100% are recommended. I recommend getting your hands on this. What I will say is it's only 50 mil, but you get a pretty good price range anywhere from, as I mentioned, $17 in Salavana right now up until about $23. I feel this is definitely really worth this considering the amazing UV filters in this and the high sun protection it's offering and everything else the formulation is really advertising. Their claims are 100% justified in my opinion and I recommend getting your hands on this. So thank you to everyone for recommending this down below. If you have any more recommendations, let me know. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have bought this trust me. And you guys have really great recommendations, so please keep them coming. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.